does Christmas actually mean to me? Well, obviously, I believe in what we're celebrating. That's a start. But I think what we're celebrating is the beauty of human life and how wonderful it is when people come together and celebrate together. Traditionally, this celebration is always going to need a dark, rich Christmas cake. It's called Creole cake and it comes from Barbados, from a sugar plantation. And I have to say, it is one of the most popular Christmas cakes ever. Now here I've got a selection of fruits. Still got currants, raisins, but this time chopped prunes and again chopped candied peel from whole candied peel if possible mixed chopped nuts and this time glacé cherries and now to those I'm going to add a tablespoonful of molasses sugar ground cloves freshly grated nutmeg cinnamon and half a teaspoon of salt and now the special bit is it's going to have quite a lot of booze and you'll see as we wheel it on three tablespoons of port then we're going to have three of brandy. Although this might seem quite extravagant, if you make this every year, you'll find these bottles will last you for years. Three tablespoons of rum. After that, quite a special one, I think, really adds something, is cherry brandy. A little bit of water. This is Agnostura bitters, which people use in cocktails and things. And we're going to use one and a half teaspoons of this. Finally, some pure vanilla extract. And again, one and a half teaspoons. Now, with a wooden spoon, give it all a good stir. And then I'm going to turn the heat on and just bring it up to simmering point. Let it simmer gently for 15 minutes, then cool and store in a sealed container in the fridge for about a week, giving it a shake from time to time to allow the flavours to mingle and develop. So here in my jar I've got creole cake fruits and they've now been soaking for seven days. When you take the lid off, mmm, wow, Christmas. Now we're going to see to the cake itself and in my bowl here I've got butter, eggs, demerara sugar, self-raising flour and the great thing about this is you're just going to whip it all up together. <laughs> Once it's well mixed, add the fruit. And then take a large spoon and just fold the fruits into the cake mix. Push it to the side, go down, twist it over. And now we're just going to spoon the mixture into the tin. Bake at 140 degrees centre shell for three hours. Then, cover the top with parchment for a further hour until it's ready to test. Now, what I want to show you now is how to tell when your cake is cooked. You just put a light finger touch in the centre and then if it just springs back, as this is springing back now, then you know the cake is cooked. If it doesn't spring back, then what you need to do is whack it back in the oven for another 10 minutes or so. The cake will improve with keeping and did you know that it's traditional to feed a Christmas cake? Just take a toothpick, make holes, and then spoon brandy into them. Mm. 
wrap it up again, then in a couple of weeks' time, you can feed the other side. To decorate, brush the cake with an apricot glaze. Then, on goes the marzipan, and on top of that, a square of fondant icing. I like mine to be really thin. Decorate with a classic shooting star and silver balls using sticky egg white for glue. If icing isn't your thing, then brush it with an apricot glaze, pop some toasted nuts on top, and finish off with another coating of the glaze.